So, hi friends. Uh, I made a chainsaw mill a little bit easier and cheaper than other types of mills. Um, basically, this is from a warehouse. Uh, the warehouses always have those metal frames to, to store everything and they always have the quite long straight beams that are quite strong but still light. Then the rest is actually quite simple. This is just two times uh, a corner profile that you click on. You clamp it down with just a wood uh, clamp and then you just weld the two pieces. And then you have this. After that, you you weld on uh, two of the longer bolts. I will show you. So these are just two standard bolts that are a bit longer than the usual ones and they are a tiny bit higher if you weld the bolt directly to the metal then you don't have enough uh, clearance here to install the chainsaw so this is why I had to hire it a bit and I had to cut off this corner to be able to install the chainsaw and you want to install the chainsaw as low as possible as close to the frame just to avoid vibration and I simply decided to drill a hole that's the easiest put on a, quite a strong bolt and have different types of spacers because this beam I just I installed this to the lock just with a couple of screws and then sometimes I noticed that if I, if I would start cutting, I would be uh, cutting on a place where I don't like it. So then I make this spacer smaller or not. And yeah, I can, I have like two and a half centimeters here. So that's, yeah, that's, that's enough. And when you're done with the first cut, what I like a lot is I just turn it around. And I cut the other side of the lock. And then you have two parallel lines. So, yeah. It seems to work uh, quite well for me. And there was one thing that I had trouble with. The saw blade has to be parallel everywhere. And there cannot be any movement, any play. Because if there's play on here or here, you will get a vibrating blade and then you lose a lot of wood and you yeah you cut much slower and yeah the best way to measure this is measured here then you turn this you turn the turn it around and then you measure here again and this should be less than a millimeter difference preferably just exactly the same so yeah that's actually it i'm not saying that it is uh, easy to saw like this but if you're in the middle of the forest and the lock is very heavy or the lock is in in an area where you cannot go with a tractor or anything or you have a sawmill with a blade but this is just bigger than your capacity then you can cut off two little sides and then you continue with a normal sawmill so yeah that's I think about it I installed uh, the finished chain this is not uh, a 0 0.308 um, I'm actually not sure anymore. Let me check. If I 
focus. So here you go. That's one of the thinnest chains you can get. And this works on even a smallish chainsaw like two and a half horsepower. Then yeah, this system will work with a 50 centimeter blade. If you want to go to a 70 or 80 centimeter blade, you, you have to go to at least four horsepower. So yeah, that, that's about it. This is the end result. I don't have a video of it, but it's a book match piece of acacia. And this is the first uh, pine tree that I cut with this system uh, to make a beam.